What's going on guys, Bingo here, and today I want to do something a little different. So, this is actually my wife, and she has been hey. watching me play this game for the past two years and constantly making me making fun of me for it. So, what the goal is, is to actually teach her how to play the game to see if, you know, she can even understand the complexities of this game. Are you saying I'm not smart Because I tell her... It's the most difficult game as far as, you know, understanding the rules and the interactions that I've ever played. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, with that being said, we're just going to jump on a dueling book here. I brought snacks, though. Because okay. I know snacks are the most important okay. part. Right? I go to all these matches and shops and all I see are snacks. So yeah. I figured this was the most important part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is introduce her, obviously, to the playing field and then the types of cards. I don't know how much we're going to get through because I have no idea what I'm doing here. But, all right, so this this is the field, right? Mm -hmm. So this is my our half and this is, you know, your opponent's half. You don't say. Okay. Now, the game consists of four-ish types of cards. Um, I say ish because I don't know where to classify some things. There's, mo <laughs> There's monster cards, uh, spells and traps, um, and then your extra deck mechanic, which is something we'll get into. All right, so this top row is for monsters, and then mm -hmm. this bottom row is for spell and traps. Pretty simple, right? Monsters, spells, traps, wizards, Harry Potter. Got it. Yep, got it. Okay, so as far as where cards go when you play them, the spells and traps go in the 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 back the back zone, right? People call it the back row because it makes sense. All right, so when you activate, or there's a bunch of different types of each of the cards. So okay. with with spell, I'm gonna go through the types of spells there are. There are normal spells, which you can see. Right here, it just says spell card. Okay. <laughs> All right, and this okay. is called a quick play spell card. What do you think that means? You quick play it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so quick play spells can be used on either player's turn, and then on your turn, you can activate them from your hand. But to okay. use them on your opponent's turn, you have to set it into the back, uh, into the zone in the back row. And it has to stay there for till the end of the turn. Let me just let me just ask you something. Now, for you guys out there who don't know us in our real life, um, I have known Bingo here since we were teenagers. So since he was sixteen, what, sixteen, and I was fifteen, I think. So we've known each other a really long time. Um, but when I met you, you were just playing Call of Duty in a friend's basement. So how did you get from Call of Duty to this? I understand Call of Duty, but where did cards with magic come in? Well, I played this game as soon as it came out in America um, in, 2000, in 2002. Okay. So I played for like four or five years and that was like, that was like all I did. I was playing with um, a bunch of friends back home. We would always, it was a lot different back then because we, I wasn't competitive into it, so we just played for fun. I know that's a weird concept for the community, uh, but enjoying the game was what we tried to do. <laughs> and eventually it just, it just got phased out. Um, you know, the internet wasn't, or like deck building and access to all the information. I was like, 13 so I didn't I couldn't competitively play so I just kind of got bored and then 2016 came around and I, you know I found the card shop and I just started playing again so you decided to start playing again after you'd already gotten the girl so you yeah, you so, tricked me you yeah, made me think that was you were that was, that that was the plan not. all along <laughs> is to just hide all of the nerdiness and then just after she's stuck you know, trick her into actually like all my hobbies. So that that's the story. I don't think I ever told you that. 
So I don't think we're gonna get very far with this, but I'll we'll be try. honest, guys. I'm more interested in this caramel popcorn. It's really good. Well, Not that I don't love this game, but this is seriously good. She has no idea how to play. No. Mm -mm. And this is one thing I want to talk about is I have no idea how to teach somebody how to play this game that didn't already know. Because, I mean, yeah, you can buy like dummy starter decks and teach them that way, but there's so much that goes into this game. I just don't know where to start. I think your viewers already got that. <laughs> Thanks. We we do love each other. We really do. Yeah, only on the week, only case. on the weekends. So. Yeah, we're really busy during the weekdays. We don't have time for that. <laughs> All right, so we went through normal spell cards, which you can only activate on your turn, and you just play it down, and it does something. And okay. what it does is obviously on the card. Yeah, I've seen the show. Mm-hmm. And then quick plays, we just went over those. And then okay. field spells go in this zone over here. And they every every card does something different. Okay. But like this one, for example, when I play it down, I search for a card, uh, a specific card that's right here. And like there's a deck built around that. So they all have like a, like a constant effect on the field rather okay. than these, which are usually one time. Like you just play it once and get one effect. Okay, now, can I get rid of that field card So the bobber? Uh, either you you can get rid of it through a various uh, amount of means. Okay. You can play a different field spell and it'll automatically get sent to the graveyard. Okay. Or you usually you want them to stick around because that's why you're playing them. But there are some decks that play like nine field spells and they're just... It's just like a big combo, like oriented thing. Okay. And then there's uh, continuous spells, which are the little infinity sign. Mm -hmm. um, so you play them down and sometimes they do something when you activate them, but usually they have, it's kind of like a field spell, but it's not one. Okay. Um, but that goes in the, backs, the back row as well. And then this one's like never played, but it's a ritual spell. It's just for a specific type of monster. You have to use it to bring it up. Got you. Like the blue eyes, white dragon. Uh, I, I do remember that from the show. <laughs> I do remember that. We were very big on that. No, blue eyes is a normal monster. But yeah, so like the, you know, three headed blue eyes guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would have to play a card similar to this to bring it up. Okay. But um, then the last two things where the game gets stupid complicated, but I barely enjoy playing it, is these left and right zones right here. Okay. Those are your, they're called pendulum scales. Okay. So these two right here, these are pendulum cards. So they're both monsters and spell cards. Okay. So if I want to use it as a pendulum scale, I have to put it in either the left or the right zone. Okay. And every, obviously, you know, there's 20,000 plus cards. Everyone does something different. But mm -hmm. the big thing about the pendulum summoning mechanic is if I want to bring out a bunch of different monsters, I can't. So this guy's pendulum scale is an eight, and this guy's a pendulum scale one. I can bring, I can pendulum summon once per turn and bring out any monsters between levels one and eight to the field for free. Free, uh-huh. Everything in this game is free. So, any confusion about spell cards? Probably. The pendulum thing, I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. I listened to you about half of it, and then I was looking for a good piece of popcorn. Yeah. So That's pretty much where I was, because when I was getting back into the game, all of this, not all of this stuff, but all the new mechanics, like pendulum and xyz and synchro which we haven't talked about those are all new to me mm -hmm. so i saw these cards and i was like what the hell is that i don't want i don't want anything to do with it i just so, want to play good old-fashioned like card game you said get off my lawn essentially yep. because oh you really are getting older <laughs> your greatest fear is coming true yep. he's terrified of turning 30 guys just yep. to let you know i'm gonna Little be secret. i'm gonna be dead it's all right <laughs> 
So that's the basics. Uh, I'll probably cut this off here. Um, but the goal of this is just because I'm always doing stuff and spending money and going places for this game. And she's like, what do you even do? And I was like, I don't really know how to describe it. So that's how we got here. And, you know, eventually I want to get it to a point where she can play a deck and I can show you guys a match between me and her because that would that'd be kind of fun. Do we bet during this? Uh, gambling is illegal. I'm talking like Konami tournaments. In our house, <laughs> in our house, can we do it? There's a lot of like. Oh, you you want you want to throw down? Is that what I'm hearing? First of all, there are plenty of things that I can beat you at. Okay, like we'll just say that right now. Second of all, I really am looking to get a new eyeshadow palette. So I mean. If you had to buy I'm, a set of me, I'm looking, I could do that. I'm looking to get three ultimate rare Sky Striker Hayates. I don't so know what you just said to me. <laughs> it's about $200. My palette's like $40. Hey, How is that even fair? You better you better find something more expensive because that's what I want. Ladies, right. if you're out there watching... No, don't Pre cut out this video. Pretend like there's ladies watching this video. For all my lady Yu-Gi-Oh players, if you are interested in helping me learn how to do this game and crush my husband, hit me up, leave a comment on his channel. I do follow him. I was his first follower. Hey! Um, I will see it and maybe we can communicate. Maybe you can teach me some things, some special things that I can know because as we all know, girls run the world. Yeah, but they also don't know how to play games. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it off there. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see the second part of this video, I'm sure it'll be out eventually. So take care, peace out.